Ladies and gentlemen, welcome our after break. Now we're going to have Mr. Klaus Knoppe, the author of Knopix Linux, a long-standing live CD Linux distribution, talk to us about how to get rich really fast with Bitcoin and open source software. Please give him a warm welcome. Thank you, but uh, to your disappointment, I'm not telling you how to get rich with Bitcoins. I'm just talking about, uh, <laughs> well, maybe yes, we'll see. Um, I'm talking about our um, master course uh, in agile software development that has been creating a Bitcoin trading box with automatic uh, trading on an online marketplace. So uh, this is more in direction of Linux uh, and not in direction of how you can lose all your money fast. So, um, Agile Software Development is a regular master course at the University of Applied Sciences, um, Kaiserslautern, in my faculty of business administration and especially in my study program, Information Management. Every year we conduct an ambitious project there and we are trying to develop this with uh, methods of Agile, like uh, Scrum um, and uh, Scope of the course is to gain first-hand knowledge on an ambitious project um, conducted in a group. Uh, in this case, we did use the Scrum method and in order to gain real life experience, we usually start with a totally impossible project perspective. Um, not really impossible, but uh, usually the students say this is not possible within uh, just one semester. And this is to show how flexible and um, how fast you can get we're using agile methods uh, versus the traditional waterfall model in uh, software engineering. So um, the agile manifesto for those who have not uh, uh, worked with agile development yet. Actually, question from me, who has worked uh, with an agile development method already? Oh, I see. Wow. <laughs> Very good. None of our students had, so uh, for them this was something entirely new. So most of you uh, already know those core statements of the Agile Manifesto. The translations are of course stolen from uh, Wikipedia. Individuals and interactions are more important than processes and tools. This is something new in terms of the traditional development method. Working software is more important uh, than comprehensive documentation. Every developer knows that this is really great. Documentation, almost everybody hates this. But of course, uh, documentation is an important part of agile um, software development too. Um, but it doesn't uh, play the main role. You can still have a good program, uh, yet uh, hardly documented, and uh, everybody is still happy. Yeah, customer collaboration, especially the product owner, communication with the product's owner is more important than a strict contract negotiation. This is kind of difficult for many companies who uh, try to order software with an agile method uh, that we don't make a fixed plan at the beginning telling exactly what uh, the outcome will be or which criteria of uh, software is complete we have. Also, responding to change is very important, and we had a lot of changes during our project. And uh, the goal always is to deliver the best possible solution considering the, the given time frame and resources. So this is a quite unsharp goal compared to the traditional method, but one that usually works very well in agile development. So the Scrum method that we used uh, consists of sprints. Uh, during one semester, we had sprints of about two to three weeks uh, to complete one task or to complete one milestone. Uh, we had a, a Scrum master, um, a trained Scrum master. Um, my colleague, uh, Professor Müller, did that. And I acted in the role of the um, product owner meaning that I am trying not to get too much involved in the development. In fact, I always did, um, but that's just entirely my fault. Um, and uh, I just tell the development team what I think the product should look like and uh, what we expect as an outcome um, in terms of merchantability. The developer team consisted of six students. Well, actually more in the beginning, but some of them um, dropped the course after they uh, got to know what it is about. Um, 
And so we started with uh, the project idea. So you may have wondered about the title, make money fast, invest all your savings in cyber stocks now or lose your money rapidly, uh, is of course from a spam mail received in the early 1994 when the internet was still a safe and friendly place and uh, everybody was believing what's in uh, an email's title. So this was the um, title of the project actually and the story of the Make Money Fast box. Yeah, the Bitcoin box um, basically consists of an um, operating system, Linux of course, we had no other choice, and uh, a an wallet that ins is installed on the box, internet connectivity, but only to access the online trading platform. It was never planned to get uh, access to the box over the internet because that would be a security breach and put your bitcoins in danger. So the idea is we deliver to the customer a mini computer preloaded with a secure OS, Raspbian Linux in this case, a bitcoin wallet pre-charged with about 100 euros which was uh, 0.1 bitcoin at the time, so March 2017, uh, one bitcoin was worth 1000 euro. And uh, the box should trade crypto against fiat or crypto against crypto pairs at an online trading platform with no user interaction, fully automatic using a profitable algorithm. The box owner can at any time finalize all trades and uh, withdraw the bitcoins to the local wallet and sell them on any marketplace. So um, the box uh, even is a hardware wallet in this case and uh, stores the, bit the bitcoins uh, safely and in at any time you can call them back. So trading with limited risk um, is a contradiction in itself maybe but um, this easy um, diagram shows what I mean with it. Uh, you buy when the Bitcoin price is low, you sell when the Bitcoin price is high and you wait just indefinitely otherwise. You know, very easy algorithm. Uh, more complex in practice, of course, um, not only because of the root rookie mistakes, most people start buying Bitcoin when it's hyped in the press. When the price is rising to the moon, they start buying, for example, December uh, 2017, when within a month the Bitcoin price doubled and we reached a high at about, I think, 20,000 euro per Bitcoin. Um, way too high, of course, and had you bought at that time, you had made a big loss until January of uh, 2018. So don't buy Bitcoin when the price is already too high. And um, also, if the Bitcoin price drops suddenly, some people say, hey, I just want to save some of my money. Even if I lose half of it, I want to uh, get back uh, everything from the Bitcoin market and sell just now when the price is extremely low. This is of course also wrong and can yield to losses. Um, there are some uh, nice YouTube um, tutorials about how to train Bitcoin properly. I'm not going too much into this because I don't want to sell you Bitcoin. I just want to sell you a project. And um, you can find lots of information about how to trade properly on the internet. Um, some things that the box should do is ensure legality of the product in Germany. So it should be uh, ready to sell without running into tax problems or uh, bank licenses, um, kind of this stuff. Um, all important regulations required by law as well as the complete technical function of the box should be revealed, disclosed to the owner so he always knows what the box does and what its capabilities are and there are no hidden uh, backdoors and um, update functions that are out of control of the users. Yeah, the product should be able to be used by an absolute non-computer person. Yeah, this is a very difficult requirement. Uh, so the most easy, easy thing you can do is plug it into your power socket, let it sit there and watch it earn money. So this was the idea. Actually, we got very far with that. Um, and the only requirement for operation is internet access and a small amount of electric power. If you turn off power or internet, it just acts as a um, hardware wallet and uh, doesn't trade. The don'ts, no mining. Yeah, well, you probably know these nice uh, USB sticks with uh, Bitcoin mining uh, 
algorithms on it, uh, they consume actually more electric power, even the good ASICs, um, than they gain in revenue. So we are not going to do that on the box. Also no interactive gambling with real money or bitcoins. So uh, to keep my students from losing all their money, uh, it was ex explicitly asked not to spend any of your own money in uh, trading with the box. If you do, you are on your own. Um, also no remote access to the box functions, very important to gain security and uh, no harm in ca case of power loss. At any time you should be able to retract the power cord uh, with nothing being broken afterwards or repairing itself after um, booting up. No backdoors, no hidden functions, no automatic upda updates from the vendor to ensure complete control over the box by its owner and only its owner. And actually this points toward an open source and open hardware solution, which I didn't mention at that uh, time to give my students uh, the possibility to find that out on their own, which they did. So we very got early got to the state uh, where we decided that everything must be open and um, uh, changeable by the public. Well, of course, my first mistake uh, being a developer by myself, too much of a plan. I already had concrete plans and I had a ready expose paper written, um, happy to deliver it um, to the students. Uh, well, I'm not showing that now, um, which was then shredded by the scrum master in anger because everybody could see it because it would be counterproductive to the process of finding a maybe better solution using the team's individual skills. So he said to me, just give the idea no concrete implementations, just the idea, what do you as product owner expect this box to do? Which is kind of hard for me, I'd always try technical recommendations. So we started with a new product vision. Buying the Make Money Fast box, you can, can earn money on the Bitcoin online market with limited risk without having to do anything by yourself and it works secure and immediately once turned on. So it just sits on your table, you do nothing, or surf on the internet and uh, watch your money multiplying. Good product vision. This was when the first two students quit the course. Um, so we had a brief discussion about if this is really possible and uh, if I would expect a real product that we are going to sell and I said of course yes and you will get grades for this and if you fail, you fail the course. Well. Um, I'm not that strict though, but uh, everybody was expected to work with a team even if he believes uh, it's not possible. So we came to the agreement to build the thing with a Raspberry Pi 3 because it already has um, VLAN access, um, internet uh, without having to use an adapter. Um, it's quite powerful so it ran, can run a graphical user interface and uh, it has a small form factor that fits into a small case nicely. Also an idea from the team, not from me, I didn't think of this first. For safe and easy local configuration, the box should have a touch screen so you don't need keyboard or monitor and can display runtime information right on the local screen. No, fantastic idea. Basically every time someone had a good idea, I said, yes, let's do it until students realize that they are the ones who have to program it. Um, so the TFT and touchscreen and a box with a pen for operating uh, was uh, quickly agreed on and in fact they uh, did that uh, very fine. Yeah, problem, more than half of the team has never installed a Raspberry Pi and many didn't have experience with software development on Linux. Um, our master course is not in computer science, it's uh, basically business administration. So some people were working with uh, software development and computers regularly, some didn't and uh, only very few of them had first-hand experience with Linux. But since we agreed on using the Raspberry Pi, of course, uh, everybody knew that now we have to learn Linux. Also the question, who is going to buy that box? How can we sell it? Um, who would spend how much money on this? And which trading platforms are suitable for fully automatic trading? Well, there are many marketplaces around where you can just register, uh, put in money or bitcoins and trade with other users, but um, many of them require interaction. 
So which platforms can be used uh, that can be automatically programmed via an API uh, and what's available for our box? So we did a lot of research on that and uh, finally found one that's uh, registered in Europe. So um, we have European law. The legal part, non-software, just boring legal stuff. Do we need a bank license? Is this all legal? What about taxes in Germany and in Europe? And uh, the next problem would be what is a good trading algorithm that actually creates money when we buy or sell um, Bitcoin? So because many of the team didn't have experience in Linux development, first sprint was actually a spike. A spike is called a part of the Scrum development that is not directly related to the real project, but is uh, there in order to learn about the technology that will be used in the project. So things everybody of us probably already did, installing Raspbian on a Pi, configure the network, work with serial TTL adapter and PuTTY, install drivers for the TFT display, document the procedure and pot potential problems, and set up a JIT repository for the code management. Also, um, how to use the Bitcoin network for doing transactions was very important. So we set up um, a connection to the Bitcoin testnet, um, so students could find out how to do um, Bitcoin transactions with and without fees. So Spike, in Sprint 1 was really learning the technology that we're going to use. Went pretty well, um, at least I thought so, um, and everybody said uh, now we are ready to run. So let's start to create the real thing. Let's build a box that works secure and reliable, robust against common failures like power loss or misconfiguration, certified and recommended by Linux or Raspberry Pi experts, which is of course an important marketing uh, thing that you have an expert saying this box is great. Software should always be up to date. An optimal trading strategy that produces the maximum of gain for the user. And it should of course look extremely nice, so everybody just wants to buy it because it looks great. Um, and a press release, of course, calling the press and uh, telling um, stories about how fantastic this product will be. Uh, unfortunately, Sprint 2 was a quite complete disaster, but not quite unexpected because, again, it was the first time that our students had an agile development project. Um, so what went wrong? Um, Safe and profitable trading strategy is impossible. Well, that's kind of true, but how co close can we get with finding something that actually works and gains revenue? That should be possible. People are doing it all the time, so why not we? Um, actually, finding the strategy, I would have expected as a software developer that the student would, uh, students would conduct benchmarks like having old um, Bitcoin and Euro prices and compare how good will this or that algorithm perform um, if we know the old data and feed the algorithm with the old data. Wasn't done in Sprint 2, so um, we did this uh, shortly after the review, um, should be here. And uh, set up with old data um, from 2014 to 2017, um, prices on the Bitcoin markets, um, 400, uh, I think this is US dollar, um, doesn't really matter because we want to see the percentage. And at the beginning of 2017 till May, we had a Bitcoin price of 1,500 US dollars. So we took those data and uh, tried different algorithms, like if the price goes two times up, one time down, we may have reached a peak and we sell a quarter of the available Bitcoins. Mm, just arbitrary um, um, algorithm. If the price goes down two times uh, and uh, up one time, we may have reached a lower peak, so that means we should probably buy Bitcoin um, for one quarter of our um, fiat money amount. So um, after that algorithm, we would reach um, an amount, if we start with one Bitcoin, of 1,537 uh, US dollar at the end. And if we compare that 
to how much a Bitcoin is worth at the end of the time period, which is 1,477. We have made 100 US dollar gain um, compared to just buying and holding. So already profitable. Um, then my favorite was uh, just looking for um, how much is a Bitcoin worth at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week? Because at that time, it seemed that people, when they get money on Monday, they buy Bitcoin, so the price rises, uh, more uh, buying than selling. And uh, on Wednesday, when it goes near to the weekend, people start selling Bitcoin in order to get euros or US dollar for holidays. And so until Friday, the price dropped down. So it was an almost sure winner to sell Bitcoin on Monday and to buy Bitcoin on Friday. At least this was the case until the Chinese dropped out of the scheme, then it kind of reverted. Um, so the best algorithm we found with that um, trade once a week algorithm was a gain of uh, 2,141 uh, US dollar versus the 1,400 with just buy and hold. So this was our um, profitable strategy for the box for the time being and should be implemented in code. So benchmarks were part of sprint three. Yeah, of course, uh, the term safety and security were not clear to everybody. Um, of course, I mean, you cannot lose your bitcoins. Uh, if the box breaks, you can still restore your wallet. Um, it's easy to restore your configuration in case something breaks, um, all this. But uh, apparently, that was not clear enough to uh, write tasks for that. And uh, also, if the box is certified by experts, who are the experts? Well, who are the experts? Who is an expert for Raspberry Pi or Bitcoin? It's not a trademark or a fixed uh, a job assignment, so everybody can be an expert. So in the, in the easiest case, the team could have said, we are the experts and we certify that our box is great. So that would be the easy part. Otherwise, they could has, have just someone asked someone from the uh, Bitcoin trading platforms. Um, okay, so this was easy to resolve. Also, fully automatic um, update could actually destroy something. So I kind of retracted that um, um, requirement um, because it contradicts the um, proposed safety. If there's an update, users should initiate it and not uh, it should not be initiated from the outside. Also still, some of the students were uh, struggling with the operating system issues and some team members still insisted on using Windows for Linux development, which is possible, but you end up with a lot of uh, control M's in your HTML files or uh, strange uh, special uh, characters in uh, text files. Um, I don't know why, um, I have no experience in that one, but um, Surely it would have been quicker if everybody would have used Linux for development as well. Also documentation, what is an architecture? I thought my students would know this. Uh, just a, s a simple sketch displaying what the box does and how it works um, without any technical surrounding. Yeah, just an easy um, picture. So what can we learn from the failure of Sprint 2? Number one, more and better communication during the sprint and not afterwards. If you say at the end, I didn't know what this requirement means, it's too late. We are already in the review. You should do this at the beginning or during your work when you are assigned with a task or you assign a task to yourself. You should ask if something is unclear. Document your findings in the collaboration tool, um, communication again. It's very important that every mistake, every error, every obstacle is documented so the others know how to solve it. If something is unclear, ask the product owner if it is about content or the scrum master if it is about the process. And incomplete tasks cannot be demonstrated in the review. Um, always when they try to demonstrate something that is only half ready, it will just fail. So Sprint 2 was very good for learning and from Sprint 3 I really expected something better. So the project, product vision for Sprint 3 was a live showcase for customers and press. 
A functional prototype with a choice of trading strategies should now be evaluated in real life operation. Means I can put bitcoins on the box and see how they multiply. It should be possible to easily start the box and configure everything with an easy to use graphical user interface on the touch screen. And you should be able to see on the display, for example, that you made a profit of 20% during the past two weeks. For Sprint 3, the team was discussing um, how can we write a graphical user interface. Um, because most of them knew how to write HTML, this was their choice, uh, writing the entire user interface in HTML, uh, cascading style sheets, JavaScript, and uh, using a full screen browser, Chromium, on the local display in kiosk mode. Doesn't make a difference for, for the user of the box. He just sees uh, the interface and is using it. He's usually not interested what kind of uh, programming language is used. Because most of them also knew PHP, uh, that was used as a backend and general programming language um, with some shellcode for OS dependent tasks like uh, writing the Wi Fi configuration to um, Flash. Also, a user friendly touch keyboard written in JavaScript because we didn't want to attach a hardware keyboard. A modular structure for one HTML and PHP file for each menu item. And uh, we decided to use Electrum as a light wallet so we don't have to store and sync the entire blockchain on the device, which apparently can take hours. Uh, should be about 200 gigabytes right now, the Bitcoin blockchain. So Electrum just uses the Electrum servers instead of the uh, entire blockchain and still can do transactions very fast. The wallet key and configuration should be backed up independently. So the backup concept said we can uh, back up the configuration on a USB stick and um, the um, actual Bitcoin um, private key for the um, Bitcoin address um, as a paper wallet. Also, we should have a nice case design, uh, which is a non-technical task, and a 3D print of that. Um, that was the technical task. I volunteered for that because we have some 3D printers in our faculty. So the, uh, the non-technical design, the look and feel, should be done by the team, and the, the, the actual printing uh, done by me. So I can show you how the case finally looked like. which is also the URL, uh, which contains all of our project files so far, uh, mmfb.knopper.net. The uh, part list that you can uh, order at an electronic store, the touch display, Raspberry Pi, and uh, all the things you need. Yeah, and uh, the case stand is just loading, is uh, downloadable as an STL file. If you have a 3D printer, you can print that. Should work with any Raspberry Pi um, and the Quimart um, TFT display. So you just slide in the Raspberry Pi and close the side with four screws. Both the Raspberry Pi and the display should be in firmly. And on the other side are the USB ports. On the back, you have a slot for a HDMI cable. And uh, these two screw holes on the bottom are for attaching the Make Money Fast box into your cupboard firmly, so nobody can steal it on the fly. <laughs> so it's very hard to move. It uh, was just an idea. Um, also, um, it should be um, something there to hold the instructions, which is that hole on the top. Um, I can show you this on the Make Money Fast box on top here. Um, you fold the instructions and put them in the slot. And you can also use this for the more traditional uh, kind of money saving, like yeah, just putting in money. Um, so it's even um, viable for people who do not trust electronic currencies and will just use it as an as electronic picture frame or something. Um, actually, the part on the back is um, detached from the rest, so you can even fill in liquids if you want uh, and use it as a candle, but uh, that's uh, far away from our initial uh, idea. Mm. 
So this is the case, um, ready installed with the Raspberry Pi and the TFT display. And um, if you want to give your box a name or if you want to write something on top, there's enough space on the front to attach a label or a name tag. Um, I was first thinking about making it totally waterproof, um, which would have been possible, but then we couldn't have made a backup via USB, so I needed to leave the ports on the right side open. Also, if you want to attach the box via LAN and not via VLAN, uh, that's also possible only if we have holes in the computer case. Okay, so the entire thing just consists about uh, of uh, two parts the case uh, which slides in the Raspberry and the side lid which is attached with uh, screws. So um, it's very drop safe and quite stable. You can operate it um, without uh, needing to hold it down. It uh, will just stand stable on the table. Okay, the trading loop. Um, how does it actually trade? Um, of course, you need an account at the online marketplace to do this, and the um, online marketplace API allows you to do transactions via an easy-to-use uh, API using a crypto key, um, a secret, and the user ID of the marketplace. So the trading strategy preconditions are checked. Um, the students, for some reason, called it the real knopper strategy, which means buy on Monday, you know, sell on Monday buy on Friday um, if the prices are uh, higher or lower than on the last uh, trade. Um, so check for the prepared day of sale, uh, check the price, is it uh, appropriately higher or lower. If the above conditions are met, transfer coins from the box to the market, if selling. Do the trade and then transfer coins from the market back to the box, if you have been buying and a signal trade done for today. And if one of these tasks takes longer, then uh, it will just rechecked if it is done every next five minutes. So actually, um, it can take an entire day and it will still work. And if it, the transaction is not done uh, within a day, it will be canceled. You probably, if you know Bitcoin, you probably see the flaw in this algorithm, why it wouldn't work. Uh, today. May, well, maybe today it would work again, but it didn't work in uh, December. So, Sprint 3 was um, a quite go good success. The user interface uh, generally works well. Each step is intuitive and simple and can be skipped to be redone later. The case is robust yet easily to handle and has slots for plugging in USB and LAN, a holder for the touch pen, slot for holding folded instruction papers, Automatic trading and information gathering on the chosen marketplace, which is Bitstamp, uh, which has a European branch and so falls under the European law, works. The touch keyboard's first design, however, was not perfect. It uses an arrow cross for moving the cursor over the keys. Why? If you just can touch the key on the touch screen. Uh, so this was a kind of bad design, which was then fixed in uh, Sprint 4. The robustness of the operating system is not yet reached. It's still one writable partition for everything. But uh, more than this did not uh, uh, happen in Sprint 3 because of time constraints. And so also some glitches in the user interface log logic were there. Um, okay, so I can uh, demonstrate how, to how the box starts. This is uh, actually this box here, which is the mobile version using a battery. <laughs> so I'm connected to that and you can see the installation process. Um, well, it's easy to know what to do here. Access password was designed uh, for protecting the local interface. In fact, we did not finish that part. You can input a password, but currently it's never asked for. Uh, it's not really that uh, important because if you have physical access to the box, you have physical access to the SD card and um, it wouldn't help to protect it with a password. Same as um, putting in a Knopix DVD into a computer that's otherwise protected with the password. So, um, now VLAN. I like this part. Um, they really did a good job here displaying all the available VLANs in the area. <laughs> 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 
So you select uh, one LAN, uh, VLAN, and uh, well, if I put in the password here, I'm I actually get disconnected, so I leave it just as it is. If you just uh, plug in LAN, um, you don't need that. It will just connect via DHCP. And now comes the difficult part, uh, the API key, the secret and the customer idea of the Bitstamp marketplace. Um, so the idea was um, the students or whoever will sell the box later uh, will sell the service of creating a Bitstamp account with the credentials and uh, um uh, IDs of uh, the customers and put in the keys and the secret in this box, maybe via cut, cut and paste, maybe just uh, with a keyboard. So the customer can just uh, skip this part and uh, get it installed by um, the seller. So I will also skip this part, which actually means we cannot trade yet on that box, but entering the keys uh, is kind of time consuming. consuming. So, uh, well, interaction, I like that too. That was one big criticism at the beginning that some things just take a lot of time and the user does not see that actually something happening. No, I do not want to translate this page. So, this is the part where um, a private and public key uh, account, uh, Bitcoin account has been created. Um, not on the blockchain yet until you charge it with bitcoins. So this is the QR code for charging the box. This is um, the same thing in the uh, base uh, 85 coding. And if you at this time already want to save your private key, you click on store bitcoin amount, get instructions, now it's insecure. I'm, I'm sure this will be streamed on YouTube later and everybody will try to steal bitcoins here, so I will discard this later. Um, please scan, print the picture readably on paper and store it in a safe place, the paper. <laughs> Afterwards, delete all electronic copies of the picture. So, and uh, this is the private key, which makes the security of this box now obsolete. Never show this to anybody else. <laughs> It will be online. <laughs> okay, so this is the part where you can charge the box or the service does this for you. If you pay the box and uh, pay the service for charging with an X amount of Bitcoins, uh, it will be pre-charged and uh, the Bitcoins we will be on your private um, Bitcoin account. So this is all the configuration that has been done. No programming skills required, just point and click. And the, uh, the complicated part of entering the marketplace key is done by the service who will sell the box. Um, this sign actually tells you if you're online or not. If I interrupt the VLAN, it will uh, be crossed out. Also, at any time, you can reconfigure your VLAN by clicking on that button and, uh, oh no, this is in the next um, stage, sorry, skip. Um, okay, this is the main screen and here we can also reconfigure our VLAN if we want to. Do the paper wallet thing again or re-enter the API key or set a new password for the box. And the button below will start the trading loop. Until you click this button, the box does exactly nothing. You can look at the current Bitcoin price, which has been rising, which is amazing. I thought it would fall uh, some further. Um, and your own Bitcoin balance, which is zero now. If it wasn't zero, you would probably have stolen the Bitcoins right now by uh, having the private key. So here you can observe uh, how many Bitcoins are on the box, how many Bitcoins are on the marketplace, how many euros, virtual euros are on the marketplace. And um, here is uh, the total amount calculated in Bitcoin or euro. And again, the public address that you can show to anybody for charging the box with new Bitcoins. 
For HTML and JavaScript, this is not too bad, I think. Though I would have liked to have it rewritten in uh, Qt5 or something uh, that has a smaller memory footprint. This should be the uh, silent screen or uh, idle screen, just showing the Bitcoin cores, maybe with an overlay of uh, your own Bitcoins, uh, showing the current development on CryptoWatch. And um, so the box has something to do while just sitting there on the uh, desk and being idle. Okay, and if you want to start trading, it's, oh, I forgot to translate that in English. Uh, it asks you if you re really want to start trading, of course, at that point you would need the API key from the marketplace. There is no shutdown button because you don't need one. So if you pull the power cord, um, the uh, main part is read only and um, the configuration is also only made writable on demand. So the box is quite safe against uh, loss of any um, power or connection. So I'm not sure if this will work on this configuration, but I'm trying to just plugging in a USB stick on the side. Okay, unfortunately it can only be seen on the device itself, so I will use the camera to display this. If you just plug in a USB stick, you get presented with a request that asks you to either, this is way too small, unfortunately, backup your configuration. No, there's no way I can get this sharper. To backup your configuration or store a configuration on the USB stick. So uh, you even there, you don't need to click a button. You just plug in a USB stick and you have your backups of the configuration ready separately from the Bitcoin private key. So Sprint 4 was, um, let's uh, make piles of money, not by trading, but by selling the box, of course. Create a product that's ready to be sold, including fixes for unf all unfinished tasks, final version of documentation, FAQ, business concept, your, no your com potential customer, and a marketing strategy. The backup recovery feature that I added, uh, and uh, the evaluation by external persons um, and the user experience. Continue? Yeah. So, Sprint 4 was the last one. Um, though some of the initial specifications had been changed or removed, we got a working product that's almost ready for the market. Actually, selling the box was, of course, not part of the project, but if the students want to, they can found a company and sell the thing and um, offer services around it. You can do a lot more with the hardware than the things we already implemented. Some strategic decisions by the team make the code kind of difficult to maintain. For example, the GUI could be rewritten with a more suitable framework. Um, the project owner, so my complaint, some things are implemented much more complex than they should be. So we have a mix of many programming languages and structure languages in X server, which we only need to display in, uh, the Chromium browser, an Apache web server, which we only need to execute the PHP code, a patched version of Electrum that will create a wallet without interaction. That was important um, because the original Electrum version uh, requires you to enter something on the keyboard, which uh, we cannot do uh, when we want to start this non-interactively. So this is one of our uh, examples, the box in operation, showing the idle screen. For the next sprint, I mean, after everyone uh, had gotten uh, their grades and deciding do we want to continue with the box or not, um, we thought how can we proceed further, uh, further to make this a real good product. Um, the steam team still has the possibility to create a business from the work done, uh, just time constraints. Sometimes they want to get their master degree and uh, cannot spend too much time on uh, code cleanup. Real code cleanup is absolutely necessary before we publish anything on GitHub. There's too much experimental stuff inside that's really embarrassing. Um, 
Yes, the box case uh, should be published on Thingiverse. I think that is ready for production use. Actually, also good for other projects that use a Pi and a touchscreen. Uh, internationalization, uh, important point. Currently, the entire interface is hard-coded in German. The English version I just made uh, shortly before the talk as a hack um, so I can display. Um, also, finding a better stra a trading strategy. Uh, for example, moving aver average or uh, Mayer multiple may yield better results. Um, still, I believe there is some kind of pattern trading possible. Um, I'm collecting since mid of half uh, of uh, last year. Um, I'm collecting the stats from uh, Bitstamp and trying to find out if there are repeatable patterns in the Bitcoin price. Net Bitcoin. So this is a statistic um, over the week and it contains data from the past eight weeks. And uh, as you can see, it is not random. It has some plus and some minus, which is quite regular over the past eight weeks. Um, for example, there is always a small peak uh, up on Friday. There is uh, a high price on, what date is this? Um, on the weekend, astonishingly, the price rises. On Monday, people start to gamble and trade until the price goes down on Wednesday. And then, um, till the weekend, the price starts rising again. If, and if you just take the top and the lower peak and define this as the time for trading next week, you could be on the winner side. I cannot prove this, but um, over time, it looks like this is correct. So. I would also add an option for pattern trading and let the box just store old um, price uh, pairs and try to find out which day would be optimal to sell or buy. Um, actually, this graphics will be updated every hour, so you can see how it's going to change over the next days and weeks. Yeah, also a big problem have been the Bitcoin transaction fees. So the idea was to keep the Bitcoins on the box and only if you want to trade, transfer the Bitcoins on the marketplace. But that requires you to pay, pay a high transaction fee, uh, which would maybe destroy all your revenue. So keeping the Bitcoins on the marketplace would be more risky, but also more efficient in terms of... Um, trading of uh, transaction fees. So this could be implemented by implementing a kind of um, stop transfer to the box and only transfer back if the user hits the button for withdrawal. Also more legal stuff. In the meantime, the European court has ruled against uh, value-added tax on Bitcoin trades, interpreting Bitcoin even more as a currency. Um, taking this into account, uh, it's now a little easier to do a frequent trades without having to pay um, uh, an additional tax. If you have to pay tax on uh, Bitcoin trades, you could put this in the algorithm. So if the uh, tax fee is 1% per trade, you can just make sure you never trade um, below a revenue of at least 2%. So you gain actually gain somewhat from the transaction and don't uh, pay everything back as um, tax. Also, the project owner, me, thinks that the GUI should be rewritten in embedded Qt5, which could eliminate the need to run a mix of Apache, PHP, JavaScript, and the X server. Also, the trading loop could be done as a pure bash script, I think. So if we redesign the box at a later time, we may end up with about half of the current code. So should you buy the box? No, I'm not uh, telling that. Um, what about the Bitcoin crash or bubble, tulip bulbs? Everything in the press says uh, Bitcoin is dead. Um, there is a website about uh, dead Bitcoins, Bitcoin obituaries. This says Bitcoin has died 273 times. Big bubble, uh, tulips, um, the poison of the finance system, um, forbidden in China. Well, actually, Last year at this time, we were at about 800, uh, uh, at about almost uh, 1,000 euros per Bitcoin. This year we have 5,000, so I don't think it's uh, already dead, but you never know. So I would uh, 
strongly recommend not gambling with bitcoins just spend as much money on bitcoin um, that you can afford to lose so the box can still gain some revenue and if the bitcoin price is going up and down all the time this is actually good for the box because it uh, performs way better when there are significant changes up and down rather than just constantly rising if the bitcoin price was constantly rising you don't need a bitcoin box you just buy bitcoin and sell them at a later time if they frequently go down and up this is a point where you can make money by trading and of course we uh, need an algorithm that uh, works better than just buy and hold at the beginning of the course, Bitcoin price was ar around 1,000 euro per Bitcoin. Even if you never hit the trade button, the, button uh, the box can simply act as a light wallet on a quite secure computer and lets you watch the price development. So this was the outcome of the course. And um, yeah, we did a press release. We didn't sell any boxes because that was not part of the plan. But I hope we made a product that can be sold uh, at future times. And if my students want to, they can still decide to uh, found a business with this box and get rich with it. OK, I think I'm just in time at the end. <laughs> Questions, please. E, jakby ktoś chciał zadać pytanie po angielsku, ale się wstydzi, to też jakby co mogę przetłumaczyć. Zdanie się. Po polsku, tak. Ale ciebie nie tłumaczę. So the most important question, did you make any money using this or you're investing in your let's say private capabilities yeah well the, the golden box here which is our golden master uh, was charged with uh, five euros um, in sprint four and during the two weeks that it had been running uh, made about 30 percent uh, a win um, so um, actually i can say it, it kind of works but i cannot promise it will work all the time that good and it really needs a better trading strategy that now fits the current price development so if you observe bitcoin prices and define two new days it should work um, we didn't sell it but i think some of my students are still have it in use and just to see if it still works with the old algorithm it just wouldn't trade at the moment so uh, because the trading fees are too high it will never um, be able to transmit bitcoin to the market and uh, start trading so it just keeps the bitcoins in place and doesn't lose money um, of course it doesn't make as much money as it could but again um, if someone wants to change the algorithm and uh, make a better one uh, he's uh, heartily welcome to uh, add this to the project and we we'll really try to publish the source code of everything on github soon so you can just put it on a uh, raspberry pi 3 and try it by yourself okay thank you yes, Uh, so, d is this project still alive if you can contribute and have you tried using uh, uh, some altcoins which have uh, lower transaction fees? At the moment it's paused um, because the students need to get their master degrees. It, it's in this year they will uh, graduate. So, uh, I think maybe if they have time afterwards for continuing, uh, that would be the time with a big code lead up. Um, you could write to um, mmfb at knopper.net uh, if you're interested in uh, helping with the further development and code clean up and uh, maybe we can uh, find an agreement so we have a GitHub um, project sooner so everybody can take part. But at the moment, as you can see, it's everything is still commented in German um, and some things old code is commented out it's it's not really good for publishing right now sorry ah altcoins uh, good point my idea at the beginning was to circumvent the tax problem just by bitcoins and then trade bitcoin versus ethereum and uh, other altcoins um, this would be now possible on Bitstamp because uh, apart from Bitcoin, they also have Bitcoin Classic, Ethereum, I think Ripple uh, and a few others. However, as you may have noticed, uh, the cryptocurrencies are always falling and rising um, almost synchronously. 
So I think there's not much gain in it right now, but this could change, of course. Um, it would be possible, just use the Bitstamp uh, API. Yeah, here you can see parts of this. Sell BTC now um, against Euro, and uh, you can trade Bitcoin for other cryptocurrencies uh, and vice versa. So if you implement this in the trading algorithm, the box will just do this without changing any of the um, GUI code. Yeah, hi. Um, I have a question about this uh, secret API uh, part mm. and so on. Uh, you mentioned that it could be uh, a part of a service uh, which will s be supplied by by company which will sell this box. And yes. uh, if uh, average user uh, get the ra uh, Raspberry Pi, install this and want to use it, if it is for technical person, it is tough to mm, discover mm -hmm. how it uh, work and how to create it or yeah. uh, so basically I if it, uh, it is uh, available through the API of the uh, service underneath or uh, it needs to be uh, like uh, some keys uh, with a secret transformation on and so on. Mm -hmm. Um, the API key and the secret and the customer ID is generated on side of the market, uh, which is Bitstamp. So if you have registered on Bitstamp, which is an, a science by itself, you need uh, your passport, you need a current invoice that proves that you are located uh, in a country in Europe, and uh, some other things to prove your identity because of the um, uh, money laundry laws. Yeah? So you cannot register anonymously, it's not possible on Bitstamp. Um, so the idea is to um, do this as a service. So the customer uh, gives, uh, um, does this with us together. Uh, he provides all the necessary papers. We do the registration. We put in the API key and the secret and the customer ID, uh, or we print it for him, and he can put it in here uh, on his own to save him from the more technical work. And also, uh, Bitstamp is only available in English language. Um, so for the average customer, um, this is kind of a barrier. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Uh, the market research from our group um, said the target person should be uh, young, rich professionals who want to spend at least 10,000 euros. I don't think this is the target customer personally. Well, I don't know how they found that out, but uh, I think the target customer is the grandfather who wants to spend 100 euro for his grandchild uh, as a saving, but you don't get much of a gain at the bank anymore you know, uh, because uh, the rates are too low. And uh, if he buys the Bitcoin box and charges that one with 100 euros, there's a good chance that the grandchild can buy a Rolls Royce when once he got uh, the driving license. So this would be my target customer, a non-technical person, non-professional, not rich, just trying um, to save some money uh, or to donate uh, money to someone by storing it on a box that does automatic trading. Um, yeah, so we really, we really try hard to keep that thing from being uh, used or being directly filled in from the user, which is difficult because law says he has to register with all the papers. And uh, of course, um, API key and secret, if you have a, th a middleman, he could, of, your, uh, of course, misuse that information to do trading on his own. So the customer, in this case, would have to trust the person selling him the ready configured box. Yeah. But these three informations you get at Bitstamp uh, once you register and once you create a machine account um, that's ready for the API. Without these informations, the box will just not trade. You can use it as a Bitcoin wallet, but not as a trader. How hard would it be to modify the current algorithm to gamble with traditional currencies? Um, I didn't get the, the wh what currencies? Uh, altcoins. Traditional. Traditional. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, to exchange, uh, you mean to, to trade between euro and US dollar, for example? Okay. Actually, I have not thought about that. But I think it's possible on that marketplace uh, because they have euro, they have 
uh, US dollar and I think they allow trading between those two currencies, which raises a lot of more questions about legality. Um, I don't think it's too hard. The API is there and uh, should be the same uh, API key that you have to enter and um, you just choose a different um, system call for buying other currencies. So you can, instead of buying Bitcoin for Euro, you can buy US dollar for Euro and vice versa. Um, also with the automatic um, uh, trading, uh, we are pretty sure that we don't need a bank license because we do neither consulting, we do not recommend uh, any trading uh, um, strategy or anything, we just provide the hardware and the software and the user does everything on his own. So um, what we are doing is basically selling a service. Also that the hardware and the software is complete open source and open hardware. Well, open hardware, kind of. You can easily get a Raspberry Pi. Not all of the Raspberry Pi is open hardware, but uh, otherwise it's easy to access. If you want to, you can build the box by yourself and uh, you wouldn't need um, us for it. But um, as a service, installing the API key and doing all the paperwork, I think this is something that you can make money with. Mm, okay, I think we are a little bit out of time. So Kay. thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Klaus, you probably will be at middle party tonight, right? Yep. Yes, so uh, Klaus będzie się na middle party ten, też, więc jakby ktoś chciał dodatkowe pytania, może zadać albo oczywiście w trakcie sesji, albo też ewentualnie dzisiaj wieczorem na middle party.